Feels good. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Welcome. We're pleased to welcome all of you here today to recognize in a very special way all those students who are graduating tomorrow with honors. In a time where nearly half of all students who enter college in the United States fail to graduate in six years, there is always great cause to celebrate when students persevere and obtain their degrees. Students have to struggle with all that life sends their way, both inside and outside the classroom. And when they succeed and fulfill the requirements for their degree, we celebrate all that they have achieved. This weekend, we will celebrate that achievement for all the graduates. But today, we are here to honor those undergraduate students who have gone beyond meeting the minimum required. These are students whose achievements merit special recognition and praise. These are the students who consistently, course after course, semester after semester, and year after year, are able to meet the highest standards of the faculty and the college, and who deserve special honor and recognition. And in a mark of the special achievements of these students, this afternoon, we will award them with the honor cords that will set them apart tomorrow when they walk across this stage to receive their diplomas, an important symbol for all who attend commencement. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you that this class, this class of 2021, and those of the class of 2020 who have joined us, they are indeed marked for distinction. These students have weathered one of the most challenging years in our nation's history with a pandemic that has impacted every single aspect of our lives. Even the way we are organized and seated today testifies to how different our lives have become. We know now that the future will be different. We can see great things on the horizon. We know how tough it has been to be patient, to persevere, to carry on in the face of everything that has come our way. And these students, your students, have not only managed, not only survived, not only made it through, they did it with style and with courage and with great, great success. Everyone at the college is extraordinarily proud of all that they have achieved. In the face of the pandemic last spring, and then extending into last fall, many schools in the United States went online. Many had to shut down campus operations. Many struggled to offer any kind of a semblance of a campus experience. The pandemic put tremendous pressure on faculty and staff. How do we teach? How do we engage students in this new reality? But those institutions with students like Thomas students were able to be different. Because these students here today, all the students graduating tomorrow, are different. They stood up to those challenges. They found ways to learn. These students did not give up on their education. They did not give up on their plans. They did not give up on their futures. Those futures, I admit, looked quite different when many students in these two graduating classes began their college careers back in the fall of 2017 or for some of our three-year candidates in the fall of 2018. Each year, Thomas students read and respond to a reading that I give them in the summer prior to starting their career at Thomas. I can tell you that it makes me a very, very popular person on campus every year to assign incoming students a summer reading and writing assignment. But indeed, I have the honor and the privilege of being a part of that process. The class that entered in the summer of 2017 read, Until We Are Free, by Sharina Abadi. And the students who started in 2018 read The Red Bandana by Tom Rinaldi. Both of these stories are stories of courage in the face of great challenges 
For Abadi, it was political repression in Iran that forced her to leave her country and her career behind. For Rinaldi, it was the story of Wells Crowther. He was a young man who helped people escape from the World Trade Center during the terrorist attacks of 9-11, but then perished when the tower came down. Both stories are about how we respond to challenges. And for Rinaldi, he concludes, effort counts. Attitude matters. Hard work wins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I think that these students have offered to all of us here at Thomas College. They came here with strength, fortitude, perseverance. They came with an appreciation of hard work. They came with a sense of family and community. They have learned, and they have shown us all, that in the face of great challenges, effort counts. Attitude matters. Hard work wins. And in return, what these students then taught us was about patience and humility and hope. They taught us about success and determination and commitment. And I can tell you that these students in this graduating class have made all of us here at Thomas immensely proud and grateful for the opportunity to have served them. That summer of 2017, 2018, I asked students to write to me about a time in their life when, like our authors, they were challenged, and to write about what they faced and how they overcame it. And what these students wrote about and shared with me at that time was very, very powerful. They wrote about physical challenges, coming back from a sports injury. They wrote about emotional challenges. They wrote about family struggles. They wrote about identity. They wrote about dreams, about fitting in and standing out. They wrote about their families, their coaches, their teachers, their friends. And for many of you here tonight, whether you know it or not, you were the subject of many of the essays that the students sent to me. They wrote about family. They wrote about parents, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, close family friends. They wrote about the support people in their lives, people who believed in them, who encouraged them, and supported them. And so as we celebrate this commencement, you should know that you also have helped make these dreams and their successes, yours and theirs, possible. You cannot know how proud I am of the students today and for the classes of 2020 and 2021. I want to thank you for everything that you have given to me during your time here. There are a number of individuals here today that will help us here in this process of honoring our students. We're honored today to be joined by Danielle Marquis, a member of the Thomas College Board of Trustees, and she will be offering some remarks to our honors graduates. Also joining us here will be Megan Welsh and Professor Jeremy Perry, who will recognize students in Alpha Chi. Megan is from Cumberland, Rhode Island, and is graduating with a double major in forensic psychology and criminal justice in the college's Keese Morgan program. She's been a member of Alpha Chi, the Psychology Club, the Rotaract Club. Oh, and she's been on the president's list every single semester in her time at the college. In addition to our honors candidates, we'll also recognize the students chosen by their peers to speak at commencement. These speakers will represent our undergraduate and our graduate students. The contributions of the student speakers almost always mark the highlight of the commencement ceremonies and I know after speaking with them over the week and as we did the sound checks and those kinds of things, I can tell you that they are very, very excited and absolutely not at all nervous about speaking to 500 people tomorrow. We're also going to recognize those students that have been chosen as class marshals. These are the students 
that have been chosen by their peers to help guide their steps on the final stage of their journey to receive their diplomas. And they will receive, as a mark of their service, the marshal's batons that they will carry in the procession tomorrow. These batons are personally crafted as a gift to the class and to the marshals by our very own Jim Raditz, who has retired from our physical plant staff and donates them each year to the college from himself and his wife. President Lachance, class of 92, will be announcing the undergraduate students graduating with one of three honor designations of the college. We will also then recognize the Thomas Scholar Award given each year by the faculty to the undergraduate student graduating with the highest cumulative GPA in recognition of outstanding academic achievement at the college. Also being recognized are students who have served as members of the armed forces and who choose to be acknowledged for their service. And they will be recognized tomorrow with a veterans cord as they participate in commencement. Given our layout today and the fact that many of you may be seated far from stage, I would ask that as the different categories of honors are announced by either Dr. Perry or President Lachance, that you come down the side of the field house and begin to line yourselves up over here. The ushers will assist you in that. And if you can come down and get lined up on this way, then we'll bring you onto the stage to uh, have President Lachance announce your name for your honor courts. So at this point, what I would like to do is introduce you Danielle Marquis. Danielle graduated with her Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration from Thomas College in 1999, and she co-owns and operates Higgins and Boldick Insurance in Oakland, Maine, with her husband and fellow Thomas graduate, Matthew Marquis, class of 2000. Danielle joined the Thomas College Board of Trustees in 2018, where she's been active on the Guarantee the Future Campaign Committee, as, as well as the Presidential Task Force on Diversity, Equity, and Social Justice. Danielle lives in Sydney on Messalonsky Lake with Matt and their son, Mitchell. So please join me now in welcoming Thomas Trustee Danielle Marquis. Oh, I'm on mute? I'm sorry. That could quite possibly be the most overused phrase in 2021, and one that I'm sure that we're all set with not hearing as we head into a more hopeful and more normal summer and beyond. Thank you, Tom, for the introduction, and thank you to Lori for asking me to speak here tonight. I'm honored to be a part of this special evening with everyone. I'm excited to be here to share in your accomplishments. What a year it's been is an understatement, to say the least. On top of all of it, look at what you've done. Your resiliency and dedication to your education has been unwavering. And now you get to sit back and relax, at least for tonight anyway, and reflect upon and enjoy the efforts of your work. We have 15 states and six countries represented in the 296 total graduating class of the most unusual, stressful, and uncertain year of our lives. There is no doubt in my mind that the success of this year was yours to make, but not without the steadfast leadership of President Lachance. I think we are all fortunate to have such a leader in our lives, someone who truly cares about each of us and made this past year a victory by keeping everyone here on campus safe and engaged. It's truly amazing to actually be standing here in front of you and to be able to see your faces in real life. This is the first time I've worn heels in over a year, so I'm hoping I don't trip and fall on my way back to my seat. It was no small feat to accomplish, but determination and creativity on the part of everyone in the Thomas community that made this happen all year long. It is a special kind of dedication that each of you have the opportunity to be a part of, and these characteristics have hopefully become ingrained within you 
and will in turn make you better leaders in whatever path life takes you. When we look back on this time, we will surely think of the difficulties that we've endured. Some were small, like needing to wear a mask everywhere we go, or missing out on gatherings with friends, but some were enormous, like losing a job or even losing a loved one. My hope for you graduates is that you also look back on this time and you remember what you have learned. Maybe you expanded your use of technology. Maybe you found new ways to manage your stress or discovered that it really is OK to ask for help when you need it. Maybe you remembered to appreciate your own health and never take anything for granted. As you enter into the next phase of your lives and start your own careers, here's another positive lesson to take away from this experience. Make sure you're not on mute. Your voice is important to the development of your career and to the workforce that you're in. Just as you've shaped the direction of Thomas College while you've been here, your leadership will help shape the direction of how business is conducted, how children learn, and how law enforcement is enforced. The beauty is no one can take away your education. You've earned it, and rightfully so, your new ideas will be the inspiration in the future. Make sure you are heard. Congratulations, and I really can't wait to watch each of you walk across this stage tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, everyone. The main Delta chapter of Alpha Chi was installed in the college in 1977. This National Honor Society's main purpose is to promote academic excellence and exemplary character in students enrolled in four-year programs. Membership is limited to the top 10% of full-time students classified as juniors or seniors. The minimum cumulative grade point average acceptable for juniors is 3.5, and for seniors, 3.2. The faculty advisor is Professor Jeremy Perry. Dr. Perry will now read the names of our Alpha Chi graduates. It does feel strange being in public without a mask, I have to say. Wow, crazy. So the first uh, person I get to provide uh, their names for Alpha Chi over this past year is Megan Welsh. I have to say I've had Megan since she was a freshman, and to see her come this far is something that I know I'm very proud of, and I just want to give her a hug, so I feel, oh, I can't get there. <laughs> Next is Caitlin Began. <laughs> Josh Biondo. We have Josh tonight. I'm not seeing Josh. Alexis Bowman. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the elbow bump. <laughs> James Chalowite. <laughs> Jeff Bowman. 
Alyssa Curry. Rachel DeRoche. Do we have Rachel? Okay. Lauren Hay. Jasmine Kermode. Lily Fryers. <laughs> and Lily served as our president this year, so I want to thank you for that service. <laughs> Julia Meadow. <laughs> yep, that gets weird. <laughs> Katie Martin. Mackenzie Oberholzer. <laughs> Alyssa Paquette. Nick Simpson. <laughs> Riley Veloso. This was a gift from COVID, or the pandemic time. Um, wow, is it great to see you all here tonight. I can't tell you how many long days and sleepless nights we had over the past 15 months. And to actually see this coming together is nothing short of a miracle. So it's such a thrill to have you here. Before I introduce the student speakers for the 127th commencement ceremonies at Thomas College, it gives me great pleasure to present this award to Danielle Marquis in recognition of her role as the Honors Convocation Speaker for the Thomas College Class of 2020 and 2021.
And now to our students. Each year, students at the college choose speakers to address them at commencement. Students choose peers who represent them, who embody their values, and who can speak for them to the families and friends who gather to celebrate graduation. I'm pleased this year to recognize the following students who will be the speakers for the class of 2021. Representing the undergraduate students this year will be Kyle Green. Kyle, can you please come to stage? <clears throat> Kyle is from Claremont, New Hampshire, and is graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education. Kyle has been an outstanding leader at Thomas, as president of the Student Senate, as an orientation leader, a student ambassador, and a member of the Campus Activities Board and the student philanthropy team. He's been a key student leader at Thomas during his time and no more so than in this extraordinary COVID year. Kyle has been a regular on the Dean's List and the President's List every semester, and we are looking forward to welcoming him back to continue his education in a one-year master's program in educational leadership. Congratulations. Representing graduate students this year will be Tiffany White. Tiffany, can you please join us? <laughs> Tiffany is from Barnstead, New Hampshire, and completed her Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Forensic Accounting Concentration degree, summa cum laude, in August of 2020. Tiffany will be graduating at this year's ceremonies with her Master of Business Administration accounting degree. In her time at Thomas, Tiffany has been a peer tutor, a member of the Student Senate, a resident assistant, a member of the Accounting Society, and a member of Phi Beta Lambda. Tiffany was also a member of the Thomas team that took international honors at this year's Society for the Advancement of Management competition. After graduation, Tiffany will join the audit department at Baker Newman and Noyes in New Hampshire while she works to become a certified fraud examiner and a certified public accountant. Congratulations. Each year, through the vote of the undergraduate day division, Thomas recognizes class marshals, whose role during commencement is to escort the graduating class to receive their diploma. This year, we are pleased to recognize the following students who will receive the marshal's baton as a symbol of that honor. Assisting the graduating class this year as marshals will be Jen Snedeker from Richmond, Maine, and Jose Alfonso Luis from Santa Cruz de Tenerife, Canary Islands <laughs> in Spain. <laughs> Jen, can you please join us? <laughs> Jen will graduate summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice and a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology, Forensic Concentration. While at Thomas, she has been a resident assistant, a member of Student Senate, and a member of Dean's List or President's List each term at Thomas. After graduation, she plans to attend graduate school to obtain a Master's in Social Work. Congratulations. <laughs> Our second marshal this year is Jose Afonso Luis. Jose, come on up. <laughs> Jose is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice and a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology, forensic concentration. 
He's been a resident assistant at Thomas, a standout on the men's tennis team, and also on the dean's list or president's list each semester at Thomas. He planned, his plans after graduation include furthering his education in the field of cybersecurity while also beginning a professional career in the United States. Congratulations. <laughs> Veterans at both the undergraduate and the graduate level who choose to be acknowledged for their service during commencement will be recognized with a veterans cord. Will any veteran wishing to be recognized come forward to receive your veterans cord to highlight your service as you receive your degree tomorrow? Our first is Matthew Russell Kennedy. <laughs> Rafael Lopez Garza. <laughs> Matthew Paul Karen, class of 2020. Matthew Addison Craig. Please join me once again in thanking them for their service to our country. Undergraduate students at Thomas College who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.2 or better will graduate tomorrow with one of the following distinctions. Cum laude with honors, magna cum laude with high honors, and summa cum laude with highest honors. Graduating with honors is a significant accomplishment it means that students have been able to maintain a superior grade point average throughout their career across many disciplines and with a wide range of faculty. It is a mark of dedication, of consistent excellence, and no small amount of hard work. The following students will be recognized at tomorrow's commencement as graduating cum laude with honors for achieving a college grade point average between 3.2 and 3.49. I would ask that all of the students graduating cum laude please come forward to the side stage and receive your gold honor court. Bethany Rose Deemer. Christina Ashley Hutchinson. Ariana Delvina Canestrano.
Caitlin Mary Doyle. Iris Corey Farley. John Henry Villanueva, and accepting for John is his brother, Nick. <laughs> Chandler Allen Moran. <laughs> Lucian Nicholas Fitz. Harrison James Mosier. Danita Marie Story, class of 2020. <laughs> Keegan Menard Chase. <laughs> Avian Michael Joshua Gerard. Emma Audrey Hodgkin. <laughs> Kiona Christine Tobin. <laughs> Nicholas Aaron Holt. The following students will be recognized at tomorrow's commencement as graduating magna cum laude with high honors for achieving a college grade point average between 3.5 and 3.79. I would ask all of the students graduating magna cum laude to please come forward to the side of the stage to receive your red honor cord. Kyle Zachary Green. <laughs> Paige Elizabeth Costa. Mackenzie Lynn Oberholzer. Sage Lee Allard. <laughs> Alexandria Clark, class of 2020. <laughs> Katie Lila Bullier. <laughs> Cassidy Aline French <laughs> Morgan Jane Hutchins
Kyle Eric Parker Gleason. Dean Alexander Jackman, Class of 2020. <laughs> Katrina Lynn Kennedy. <laughs> Zachary Philip Netto. Kathleen May O'Kelly. Audrey Lee Kimball. Maddie Lincoln Strout. Ali Teresa Gregoire. <laughs> Angela Nicole Guy. Evan Michael Parsons. Shannon Eileen Kostowick. Sadie Elizabeth Farrand, Class of 2020. Dana James Brown, Class of 2020. Michael Stephen Tardiff. <laughs> Jacob H. Cheney, class of 2020. <laughs> Eli Daniel Wall. <laughs> Duncan Michael McDougall. <laughs> Mercedes Lynn Richard. <laughs> Kyle Robert Heatley. Joseph Gerald Lawrence Dulac. <laughs> Justin James Martin Wentworth. <laughs> Taylor Marie Sinclair. Meredith Wheeler, class of 2020. <laughs> Sydney Jean Abbott. <laughs> Miranda Elaine Williams. Isaac Henry Robichaux.
Gabriel Hamilton Merrill. The following students will be recognized at tomorrow's commencement as graduating summa cum laude with highest honor for achieving a college grade point average between 3.8 and 4.0. This translates into an average of no less than an A minus in a student's entire academic career at Thomas. I would ask all of the students graduating summa cum laude to please come forward to the side of the stage to receive your combined red and gold honor cord. Megan Elizabeth Welch. <laughs> Tiffany Jean White. <laughs> Alexis Carol Bowman. Alyssa Renee Curry. <laughs> Julia Ann Netto. <laughs> James Nathaniel Chiluit. Jennifer May Snedeker. <laughs> Jose Antonio Afonso Luis. <laughs> Alicia Faith Paquette. Nicholas Austin Simpson. <laughs> Riley Ann Marie Veloso. <laughs> Lillian Wadley Friars. Caitlin Rose Be Gone. <laughs> Lauren Audra Hay. <laughs> Melina Rose Aliseo. Kariana May Aslin. Erin Kathleen Barnes. Samantha Marie McIntyre. Ethan James Burns. <laughs> Haley Yvonne Thabarge. <laughs> Christy L. Carlo.
Janice L. Walker, Class of 2020. Olivia Cecile French. Haley Iris Jason. Kaylee May Coburn. Are there any students that we missed? It's always my nightmare. Congratulations on your incredible accomplishment. The Thomas Scholar Award recognizes superior academic achievement as an undergraduate student at the college. This year's award goes to Tiffany White from Barnstead, New Hampshire, who completed her Bachelor of Science in Accounting Forensic Accounting Concentration degree summa cum laude in August 2020 with a perfect 4.0 through her undergraduate career. Tiffany, could you come up? So I remember Tiffany when she first entered Thomas as a Keith Morgan student. And I was talking with her when she first came onto campus. And I said, whoa, Tiffany, Keith Morgan. You must be pretty good, huh? And in typical Tiffany fashion, she said, yeah, I, I, I'm OK. And so I guess OK in this regard is bringing in 36 early college credits before even starting at Thomas College. And that was our pattern. So I would check in with her. She would drop by the office after the semester is over. She'd pop in, drop by the office. I'd say, Tiffany, how'd the semester go? OK. O OK, so, so how are your grades? You know, what'd you get? 4.0. Oh, oh, OK, yeah, 4.0 is OK. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. And that's sort of the way it's gone with Tiffany is undergraduate GPA 4.0, 4.0 graduate GPA, bachelor's degree and master's degree in three years, resident assistant, peer tutor, student ambassador, Alpha Chi, member of student senate, the accounting society, and as President Lachance mentioned, part of the team from Thomas College that was second in the world in an international competition this last uh, spring for the Society for the Advancement of Management. She is also one of the most engaging and delightful individuals you would ever care to meet. Please join me in congratulating this year's Thomas Scholar, Tiffany White. So please join me now in recognizing all of these students for their superior academic performance at Thomas. 
We congratulate them for their success, and we look forward to great things in their future. I also want to take just a moment to thank all of you for all of your support and your encouragement for your students over their academic career. The faculty and staff at Thomas know that their achievements are possible in part because of the supportive network of family and friends who help them meet their goals. We know that sometimes you provide the hope, and I know because I have two children in college, sometimes you provide the cash that helps power them through the tough times. You talk with them, you've shown them what it takes to stay on course in the face of adversity, what it means to possess focus, courage, and perseverance. Like the authors in our common read, you provided lessons for them on work, on love, on community, on family, and on forgiveness. So ultimately, what you have provided is the heart. And so for the classes of 2020 and 2021, I would tell you that your most dedicated, loving, and faithful mentors and teachers are sitting right beside you today. So please join with me in thanking them for everything that they have done. So that concludes our ceremony for this evening. I want to thank you all for coming, and we're going to look forward to seeing you all at our ceremonies tomorrow. Thank you.